out of 100 we work 20 percent and we get 80 percent of result that is called the positive results out of 20 percent of our entire effort and out of 80 percent of entire effort we get 20 percent of result so this is the concept this is the principle this is the rule of this 80 20 rule i can convince you i can tell you with the with the help of some examples like here i'm delivering my speech on this topic so here we have got around 28 people or 30 people. So out of these 28 people, only 20% people would be understanding exactly what I am trying to explain. All right, so that is the meaning of this topic. In the classroom, when teachers teach us, so that moment out of 100, 20% students, they understand everything, each and everything, whatever is delivered by teachers and if teacher is teaching his hundred percent of entire course or everything all right this entire books so only he can teach 20 percent of the entire book to the students are you getting now understand some more example so i'm going to read one book i'm reading entire book but ultimately I would only understand that 20% of the entire book. That is really very important. That can be said as the gist of that book. Can you explain any book from beginning to end? Is that possible? That's not possible. All right, you cannot explain. You can explain only the important point, which are important, which are relevant to you, which are necessary to you. So that's called the 80-20 rule. And in any kind of organization, in any kind of business places, only 20% employ, they really work hard. And because of these 20% of employ, they are responsible for the 80% of the revenue or profit of that organization. So that's called the 2080 rules. In your relationships, you appreciate your spouse, your girlfriend or your boyfriend Right, you praise everything, dress, physical appearance, voice, sound, hair, everything, communication skill and style and family background and friends and relations, everything you praise and appreciate. But your girlfriend and boyfriend only happy just because of your 20% of your appreciations, okay? And your bad relationships, that also become bad just because of your 20% your bad behavior. So that's called the 2080 rule. All right. So have you understood something about it? Any idea? Okay. One more example I would like to tell you. All the examples are already given in this slides. If you go through the entire documents, you can understand what all the documents, what all the examples I have given there. We study our academic educations after that we go mm -hmm. to higher education and after that we do professional courses okay but when we get jobs so that moment we our life becomes so good and we start earning money and you know what is the responsible what kind of pers percentage of the education which are responsible for your job only the 20 percent of for your entire educations the thing is this i've done academic education after that higher education then i did professional education and uh, i became i did some software developer development kind of courses right but ultimately i would not be getting any job unless and until i do any coding software coding software coding development courses okay so i get only job just because of that coding course. If I know coding, software coding, then only I can get job. So this coding course, this coding educational, that's called the 20% of entire your education. So we are getting our job just because of that 20% of our entire education. So that's called the 2080 rules. And only 20% of drivers, they are responsible for 80% of the accidents that happens on the road. In the entire road, or 80% of the roads, only 
vehicles are responsible for creating a lot of pollutions. And from all over the world, only 20% of clouds are responsible for 80% of the rains. So these are the universal examples of 80-20 rules. Now, why we should understand this rule? Why we should follow the rules of 80-20? And uh, many times people already uh, following this kind of rules, this 80-20 rule, but they are not aware about this rule. What these rules talk about? Actually, we do many irrelevant things all the times. Like many times we do uh, like some things which are not important for us. Like we are sitting, we are thinking some irrelevant things we are talking about. We are thinking about some uh, like uh, people who are not necessary for us. Okay, we are just wasting our time or we are just try playing with some something which is lying on your table, on your bed like that. So we also do some other irrelevant work, irrelevant things which are just wasting your time. You never ever pay attention on these things. Or sometimes we go to office and we just turn the pages and we just watch the pages. And sometimes we do some or chat with our friends. That's an irrelevant chat. There is no any kind of use or there is no any kind of uh, like uh, relationship with your job, with your work. So in this way, we, are, we only waste our time. If we make a list by which we are wasting our time, right? We can eliminate those work. And after that, we would be only having the list of those work by which we can get some profits, okay? And whenever we study and we have to give some examinations, so that moment we do not study the entire books. We don't study all the books. We never will study. Is it possible, to, can we read the entire course in one or two or three days? Is it possible? That is not possible. We only study which uh, material that is important for our examinations. Like we have got short notes, okay, which are available in the market. For before giving the examination, we buy those short notes and we revise all the things and we give the examination and we get the uh, higher marks and good marks. So that is called the 80-20 rules. We already do all these things, but we are not aware about that. Actually, we are already following this and many people, they are not following, okay? So the concept of this 80-20 rule is clear. Have you understood? And after the slide, we would be understanding, understanding more about it. Any confusion in questions? Shall we move to the slide? Okay, now we are moving. Okay, so let me take a picture before moving ahead. You need to take a picture, right? So please turn on your camera. I request you all, please turn on your camera, all the participants. Farida, Zurit, Kelly, David, and Tariq, you all people turn on your camera. Thank you, thank you very much. Hmm. So we Gaurav is entering. Okay. Right. Jojo is all already there. Fine, guys. Thank you Hi. very much for. Hello, Jojo. How are you? I'm good. Great. Let's continue. So now we need to. So we are going to the next slide now. This is our topic, 80-20 rule. Yeah, I want to share a simple things. You want to share, sure. You can share. Yeah, I think it's one kind of problem, uh, pro problem solving technique, right? Exactly. Yeah, everything, every topic is a problem solving because in our life, there are a lot of problems. Yeah. Every time we have problems, okay? So we need to, come out from those problems. We need to overtake those kind of problems. Exactly. For that manner, we bring such kind of topic and most of the people, most of the participants, they understand the topic and they apply the concept of the topic in their own life. And after that, they bring some happiness in their life. Okay? Right, thank you very much. So the thing is that 
we have one book that is the 80 20 rule principle that is written by richard coach you can find the audio book of this book in youtube you can search the 80 20 rule principle by richard coach you can find the entire audio book you can listen it from the youtube okay and it is around six or eight hours if you listen continuously six to eight hours you can understand okay so according to him our 80 percent results cause up 20 percent of our effort how much profit how much positive result we get that is only just because of our 20 percent of results when we sleep in the night and when we wake up early in the morning and the moment we wake up after that we start working whatever we have worked and if we work for first three four hours continuous our entire day would be successful and suppose you are going to do some work of beginning of your day and you are spending your first three four hours in some irrelevant work which are not necessary like you are talking with your neighbors you're talking on your calls to your friends or you are doing something which is not important for you okay so your entire day would be hectic or sometimes you just fight with your family members or your friends or someone else or you get some disturbance early in the morning right so your entire day would be disturbed so the thing is this these three hours are only 10 20 percent hours which are responsible for your entire working hours the thing is this most of the time mostly we people sleeps for eight hours or nine hours so we have got 16 hours so we calculate the 20 percent of 16 hours so that comes three hours and in any kind of organization or in any kind of office if you work three hours continuously continuous your entire work miss your entire day's work would be finished and if you take the example of two students, one student is studying for eight hours, nine hours, and one student is only studying three hours. Is it possible? Can you study? Can some student study for eight hours continuous? Is that possible? That is not possible. If you are studying eight hours or nine hours continuous, you cannot study sometimes you can be diverted sometimes your family members they can call you sometimes you need to do some other work sometimes you need to do go to uh, have your lunch or dinner sometimes you start watching your mobile phone sometimes you start reading some other books all right so your mind get diverts if you study for eight hours or nine hours but if you talk about other student is studying only three hours so if you are studying only for three hours, you would study continuous from beginning to end of three hours continuous without being diverted. It's nobody will disturb you. Nobody will ask anything to you because you are studying. So these three hours, the beginning of your day, the moment you wake up, you give your three hours to your study only. If you are spending three hours, it's every important thing would be in your mind, okay? And many times students, they go through the entire courses, entire books, all the things, everything. They try to study everything, but ultimately they only capture 20% of the entire course. And the smart students, they only study for two hours and three hours, and they only capture which is more important, which is the relevant things which can come in the examinations. So that's called the 80 20 rule. That's called the 80-20 principle. So I think the concept is very clear. You can understand it. We would be having question and answer on this topic. So we are moving to the next slide. So let it come. No, it is clear. Okay, so this is the right. Now the thing is that it is the mystery of yeah, maximum I know about a little bit from <laughs> less investment. About these tools. It's a so important tools of Six Sigma. Okay, that Six Sigma is, is quite different. Okay, here we are talking about 80-20 rules. All right, it is also the part of business. Six Sigma, that is also the part of business. Okay, and this 80-20 yeah, is yeah. another I, part. I told that and it's uh, one of the tools of Six Sigma. Exactly, it is not the one of the tools of Six Sigma. Six Sigma concept is very different. Mm -hmm. 
okay that is very different i tried to understand i read the book of six sigma just around 15 years back okay for taking the sessions of the six sigma i need to read the entire book of six sigma then then only i can uh, take the session of six sigma right and uh, what i feel that uh, the people who are from business background or those who are from uh, some productions shops all right some production department so they can understand six sigma concept the rest of the people they cannot understand and this 80 20 rules can be applied your entire life not only in the business in your personal life in your personal relationships in your uh, educational life in your friends life every hook and corner of your life you can apply this rule so we always choose the topic which is universal topic that can be applied in your entire uh, like portion of the life entire part of the life whether you're doing any kind of job business studying or you have some relationship or you have some problem in your family so you can apply this rule in your all the all the part of your life okay okay tarik got it six sigma can be applied yeah, only I in the business six actually sigma? we face a lot of problems but uh -huh. yeah actually we face lot of lot of problems in daily routine but uh, all problems can't possible at a time mm -hmm. so we should have find out which problem is more important let the topic finish all yeah. the problems will be finished yeah, yeah, okay okay yeah exactly okay. <laughs> okay okay see tarik i'm also learning along with you all people because of you people i always try to search topics which can help me okay and if i am getting advantage from that topic so you all it's a privilege of yours that you must get advantage from me from those topics okay definitely <laughs> definitely all right so it is the mystery of maximum profit from less investment what does it mean like less investment we are getting the maximum profit the thing is this we are uh, investing 20% and we are getting 80% of profit if you balance 80 equal to 20 they are imbalanced so that is called the mystery it is a mystery but that is fact okay so putting the less investment and getting the maximum profit optimum profit okay i'm i have studied uh, business economics so i have studied this topic 20 years back and that moment i did not study it more i did not pay attention on this 80 20 rule but today i'm realizing that this is really very important topic okay now moving to the next so cause balance with reasons the thing is that i have already explained this cause balance with reason the thing is that the reasons we have and the causes we have so how we are making the balance we are putting 20% of effort and we are getting the 80% of profit advantages from our 20% of entire effort and sometimes we put 80% of effort and we get only 20% of profit okay means they are reciprocal to each other if you study 80% of your book ultimately how much you will get you will get only 20% but if you study 20% means you study the gist of that book that is called the 20% you can explain 80% of the book so they both are reciprocal to each other so cause balances with the reason so they are balancing each other now we are moving to the next slide all oh, right so now you need to understand what is this what is crucial is sometimes urgent many times we see the work is very important and that becomes urgent and sometimes when we see the urgent work and sometimes we feel that that urgent work is important that urgent work is significant for us so we need to understand the important significant work how that work becomes urgent and how urgent works can become important okay so now right so now you need to understand so here we have got some examples we have got around uh, 17 examples so you need to understand 
So 20% of the criminals commit 80% of the crimes in the world. So you need to understand this thing, that entire world, 80% of the crimes are only depends upon the 20% of the criminals. 20% of the drivers cause 80% of the four traffic accidents. Only 20% drivers, they are only responsible for the 80% of the accidents which are happening on the roads. 80% of the pollutions originated from 20% of all the factories. So there are a lot of factories, but all the factories are not producing the pollutions. Only 20% of the factories which are producing the pollution. These are the universal truth. And one more thing I want to tell to you all people this, that 20 and 80, that is not the exact figure. We have just taken this unit 20 and 80 only for explaining that 20 is very less and 80 is very high. Okay. 20% of a company's product represent the 80% of the sales. 20% of the employees are responsible for 80% of their sales. In any kind of organizations, only 20% employ, they work hard, they are honest. The rest of the people, they are not honest. 20% of students have grades 80% or higher. So I've already given the example of students, 80% money and land owned by 20% people of the world okay in your countries you have also realized this thing that your country's entire economics is only owned by 20 persons people of your entire country's populations do you agree or not in my country also that happens that only few people they have the entire economic of our country and that is also happening in all over the world. In every country, only 20% people, they are managing, sustaining the 80% of the economic. 80% yeah, is- I couldn't agree more. <laughs> you couldn't agree more. Maybe, that's why I'm saying that only 20, 20 you can also apply this 80-20 rule here. In the beginning, I have told these things, okay? So 20% of students have great 80% of hair, 80% money land owned by 20% people of the world. 80% peace come from 20% of seeds of peace. So this is very clear concepts. We put the seeds 20% and we get 80% of the peace. So this is the universal truth. Then 80% clothes ignored and we wear 20% clothes again and again. The thing is this, we have clothes Almira in our home. Okay, and we have a lot of clothes in our Almira. But have you ever realized that we only wear 20% of our entire Almira clothes every day, again and again? Do you agree now? Do we wear every day like uh, different kind of dresses? Is all the Almira's clothes, do we wear every day or like entire months? That's not, I don't do even many people, they also do not do all these things because 20% clothes are only good and strong or it has quality. 80% alcohol of word is consumed by 20% people who are drunk here. So the words 80% of alcohol that is only consumed by 20% people who are drunk here. So there are many people, they drink. Sometimes people, they drink in a week, in a month, or twice in a month, right? But 20% people, they drink all the time. Every time, if you watch them, they, are, they have drunk. So every time that they are in an office with their family members, with their friends, means every time because they are drunk. So they are responsible for 80% consumptions of this alcohol. 80% of food comes from 20% land of the world. 80% rain that comes from 20% cloud of the world. 80% attention is given to only 20% sectors. So there are only 20% actors from all the actors. So they only get the attentions of the public. Only these 20% actors are managing the entire Bollywood or Hollywood industry. So 80% investor inventions are done only by 20% of scientists. So 
you have also realized this thing that only 20% scientists we have, they are only doing inventions. The rest of the scientists, they are not making inventions. They are only helping the senior scientists or other scientists, those who are actually working. The next we have 80% people read and 20% authors, writers, books. So there are only few writers whose books are sold or whose books are read by the 80% of the people. And 80% writer, they also publish their books, but only 20% read their books. So they both are reciprocal to each other. So 80% profit that come from 20% of clients. Okay, there are a lot of people, they have their shops, grocery shops or other shops or departmental stores. Have you ever realized that, that you have got only few customers? They are very much satisfied with your work, with your services, with your products. And they always come only to your shops and they always buy the products of your shops. Do you know? Because they, they are satisfied and your entire profit of 80%, that's only depend upon those 20% of your customers. So the thing is this, what you have to do, you need to just concentrate on those 20% of your customers. If you are going to pay attention on other customers who are not satisfied with you, so you would be wasting your time. You would be just uh, like, uh, ignore, you would be just uh, like, uh, you would not be making a good relationship with those customers which are not good for you. Sometimes they make a complaints, sometimes they do not like your product, and sometimes they ask for their refund. So it's better to refund their money and that's it. Because if you are going to waste your time, you're doing some argument with them. So many times you would be wasting your time and this way you can lose other customers. So it's better to pay attention your 20% customer which are very much satisfied and they can do more publicity for your business, for your work. So we are, so the thing is this here, the same thing which I have explained, focus on 20% and 80% life will be fine. So in our life, we do a lot of things, a lot of irrelevant things which are not necessary, which are useless for us. And many times we waste our energy, we waste our time. And in this way, we become unhappy. For making happy your life, you need to focus the relevant work which are necessary for you, which are important for you. And this 20% can make your 80% life happy. So you can understand, you can read the lines which I have written here. Then we are moving to the next slide. Okay, so this is very good example. In phone books, we save many contacts. A lot of contacts we have 1,000, 100 or 500. Okay, so do you call all the people? You don't call all the people. You only call 20% people out of your entire context. And you give your 80% call to only those 20% people. You have fixed people, few people to whom you talk more. Every time you talk to these, those people and you give your 80% call time to only those 20% 20, 20 people because those 20% people are very much important for you. The same thing happened with the educations that I have already given the example of education. So you earn money only from some education like software developer and learn coding and only you earn money because of software coding, not from all academic and higher education. 20% education of coding responsible for your better life out of 80% of your entire life, entire education. So the thing is this, only 20% of your education which is important is responsible for your better life. You have limited money, energy, time, do not waste it with irrelevant things and people. There are a lot of people who are not necessary for you. They only do fun with you, they only sometimes make uh, waste your time they only talk they only share their problems with you so what you are doing you are just wasting your time 
what you are getting, what you are receiving from them. You are receiving nothing. You are just wasting your energy and your time. So you need to save that energy and time. Remove all irrelevant things and you can't reply to all the emails. Just the concept is very clear that you receive a lot of emails, but you cannot reply all the emails. You only reply which are relevant, which are necessary. So this is the meaning of this slide. Now, this is very important. Ultimately, the entire gist of the entire extract of the topic, what do you have to do every day or in a week? You need to make a list, not to do list and do list. Not to do list miss the work which waste your time, energy and money. Just write down all the work by which you get nothing. Think about those things. Okay. And in another side, do list important work which are more efficient. Write down the people's name by which you receive something, you get some knowledge, you get some advantages, they can help you, they can motivate you, they can encourage you. Write down the work which is very important for you, by which you can get some profit, you can get some advantages. And write down the things, the work which you do in your home, which are necessary, which, by which you can learn. Just write down the list of those work and write down the list of those work which are irrelevant for you. Make the list. Okay, every that happens with everyone, even that happens with me also. I also do a lot of things which are not uh, necessary, important for me, which are irrelevant. I don't get any kind of profit advantage or anything. I only lose my energy, my time, I waste everything. And if I do something which is important, which is positive for me, definitely I would get advantage from those work. If I have do list, if I follow do list. So what do you have to do? Like Tariq has told that like he has a lot of problems. Everybody has a lot of problems. I have a lot of problems. All the participants, they must be having some problems. So what do you need to do just to make a do list and not to do list? That's it. Just make the list of the people or friends. They only waste your time. And they make the list of the people who always motivate you, encourage you. You feel happy talking with those people. You should talk to only those, those who are good for you. And do not make a, uh, do not talk to those people who have some negative attitude, who always talk about negative things. The next we have got, next slide we are. Okay, so here we have got some questions. Okay. Uh, so we have a lot of friends, okay? But every time we only talk to few friends, to few people. Who can give us happiness? Who can make us happy? Who always praise us? Who always motivate us? And if you are going to talk to the people who always do some argument, who always try to do some debate or some uh, bring some topics which can uh, make you unhappy. So definitely you, when you are unhappy, so definitely you would be losing your energy. So you no need to waste your energy. You always need to store it for your positive work, for your own work, for your own life. So we have got seen these questions. What is 80-20 rule? How this is important for our life? You can apply, you can discuss this question. And uh, have you ever written the bizarre task or daily routine? The thing is this, bizarre work means which are not useful, which are irrelevant of your daily routine. Narrate any motivational story. If you have any motivational story, you can narrate it. What you do when you are confused about challenges. Many times you receive a lot of challenges in your life. So what you do, do at that moment? And many times you are confused. So how you make decisions? Are you good decision maker? Do you quit or go ahead? Okay, so it is not the five, fifth question. It's the fourth one. You can add this question in the fourth one. Can 80-20 rule be applied on a relationship? 20% characteristics are praised and 80% characteristics are ignored. Because of 20% of your relationships become strong. Okay, if I have one friend or girlfriend, so I praise her a lot because I want to make a strong relationship with that spouse, that partner. 
okay i praise a lot but my partner will receive only 20% of good words or actual words which she likes or he likes okay he or she will not likes all the praiseable or the appreciated appreciable words everything she will not she cannot preserve or he cannot preserve in the mind only the things which he likes or she likes then 80% appreciations is delivered but 20% are received do you believe on miracle or it just happen accidentally in what areas of your life are you settling the thing is this how you are settling your life is in what area what portion of your life you are settling you are you managing or you are making it successful what is creativity so you need to explain what is creativity do you love prestige so prestige is very important that's a dignity so do you love it or not so many times people they, they don't care their prestige no. their dignity they do whatever they do they don't care what would happen with their prestige or dignity the other will like or not so these are the questions you need to discuss this question in a breakout room so this is all about the slides and all and everything now so if you have any question any things if you are not able to understand anything you can ask me you can discuss with me sir anything. what do you mean by prestige prestige means dignity you... dignity your dignity okay. okay do you understand the meaning of dignity yes sir dignity. your value uh, your value your image yeah value in the society okay yeah right thank you so much. welcome yes anything else any other questions so let sir, me create a breakout room. yeah last one do you love this tight that means do you love your prestige image positive image good image okay so now i'm going to create a breakout room so we have around okay now 